Stone Valley is out now for console players. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 13 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got four new and three updates. For console only, we've got one new Stone Valley. And for PC and Mac, we got four new and one update. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have the Lizard Backlifter, AKA the Lizard 400 Pro. This says it's suitable for loading various loads on higher objects or trailers. With it, you can move bells, pallets, or simply select an attacher to which you can connect a front loader connection. Brand Lizard, category miscellaneous, and it's gonna be found right here. Base price gonna be 1500 bucks. We've got design color. This is gonna change your main color. Ah, let's do some New Holland stuff today. So main color, we're gonna change New Holland blue. And then uh, here, we're gonna change that white. Boom, New Holland, gotta love it. Oh, I love that so much. And the designs down here, we got spike, you got pallets, and if you do this enough, yep, it'll, <laughs> it'll do that. So you gotta be careful. You can also add an attachment on there as well, which means you can add any front loader tool to this, which I think is absolutely amazing. This is gonna hook up to the front or back of your tractor, hooks up to a three point hitch, and it will work just like a uh, just like a lifter. We actually have something similar to this in game already. This guy right here. Um, however, with this, it has the uh, bell pallet forks and bell spikes built in automatically. With this one, you will have to upgrade those, but they're free. So what I would do, honestly, is just get the front loader attacher and then just hook up whatever you want. Next new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Lizard Harrow. This is suitable for small and medium sized tractors. Price is going to be a thousand bucks. Only requires 20 horsepower. Has a 2.5 meter working width at 10 miles per hour max speed. Design color, we've got some multiple custom colors. There's some older colors. Plus we have base game stuff as well. We'll do a silly pea green down there. And then main color, again, those same colors. Plus you can change up the top as well. How cool is that? That's neat. It will hook up three point. Uh, main color is gonna cost you 50 bucks. Design color, another 50 bucks. And moving forward, very, very cool. I'm digging this, this is neat. Next to last new mod for all platforms today is gonna be the old cultivator. This is gonna be a thousand dollar cultivator. It requires a little bit more horsepower, 25 horsepower instead of 20. Has a two meter working width. It doesn't say the max speed. Um, I'm going to guess around nine or 10 miles an hour though. We've also got main color for this. So we've got a couple different grays. We got some, uh, custom colors through here, which are very nice. And then of course, naturally base game colors as well. Design yes or no. That's going to add your roller right there. If you have the roller, we'll set up one and two. And then if you've got, uh, this right here, if it's off, wheel setups aren't going to change anything. That's going to cost you. Wow. It's a thousand dollar cultivator. Main colors, a thousand bucks to paint. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> That's expensive. And your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Double Rusty Metal Shed. This is a seasons ready rusty metal shed. Price is going to be $5,500. Daily maintenance, $5 per day. And it is very, very nice. It's funny. I don't have my, uh, I don't have the light turned on, but it's like shining through almost. Like I can kind of see where the sun is. I wonder, what is this going to look like if we go all the way to nighttime? All right, so you do need your light in here. One thing, the uh, the metal's not shining the light as bright as I would expect it to, but maybe that's just me. Ooh, that's a pretty nice look right there. Look at that. Oh, you got the plane coming. Very nice moon. Farm sim could be beautiful too. But there you go. There's your w dip dibby dibby rooster middle sheds. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today. We got three of them. First up, Modern Cows Barn. Changelog 1.2 added a version for 60 cows. So now you've got a version for 20 and a version for 60 cows. That version for 60 cows is going to cost you $150,000. And an update to the Fent 512-516 Vario S4. Changelog 1.1. Fix the backlight. Boom. I love this thing. It's the only 500 series that we've got in game um, that's like newer. I like that. And your last mod update today for all platforms is going to be Dreisternhof by Richiev. You've got Richie F, sorry, you have version 1.005. New save game required. There will be no further changes to the map. So play on and enjoy yourself. The courtyard has been redesigned with other buildings. New cow shed, sheep at the farm, new cattle dealer. Horses are now in the barn area. Miscellaneous small changes have been made to the location. New wool sale. And thank you to other monitors for permission to use the courtyard 
building. That is going to be uh, Chef Koch. It's your one new mod for console players. We're on the PlayStation 4 today. Stone Valley X2. You got that right. Stone Valley is out now, right now, for console players, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so excited. Yo, this was low, too. <laughs> like, really low. It was like... 350 360 megabytes something like that i mean don't get me wrong even on pc it's only like 400 and some so really low it's doing awesome when you're starting off we go in the garage uh we're only using 795 slots out of uh, 1299 so that's pretty cool as far as starting vehicles uh we've gone over this a couple times on pc but you get a uh, case ih 340 cvx that does have rear twins you also get a roadrunner two s790 combines star emperor door you get a pickup truck pay setter for your uh truck you also get a kenzie grain cart you get one normal header and two corn headers as well as a big cultivator subsoiler a planter header uh trailer you also get a weight a peppy dog and a couple different grain silos for the multiple farms around the map now i will tell you this you can't sell the main area unless you get rid of this guy right here so do keep that in mind as far as the pda let's check it out so here's your pda here's everything going on if we jump in like this you can see we own the bga which is here we got our main farmland filled eight we also have filled six down there and we get filled one as well filled one and filled eight both have silos on them so you can take full advantage if we come down here we can take full advantage of not only the silo system but you can also take advantage of an entirely new farm right here. So you've got a farm there uh, or a building there. You've got some sheds here that do open. They do open, which is just phenomenal. It's a very good looking farm. So you kind of, if you think about it, you start off with two farms, which is really sweet. Not only that, how are your crops looking whenever you jump in? Because we have soybeans, we have uh, sunflowers, and we have corn. And as far as that goes, your soybeans and your corn are ready to harvest with your sunflowers almost being able to harvest or almost being ready to harvest now one great thing is along with this map we get two extra crops we get alfalfa and we get rye so those of you that have played on sandy bay you will be used to those crops you have them here as well not only that i have the um check that <laughs> man that's awesome brand new crop texture by the way the corn texture is really nice. Um, I also have the uh, Straw Harvest DLC installed, and everything is working just fine with that. This is Seasons ready as well, so if you guys want to play with Seasons, jump in, and you can play with Seasons as well. I haven't been playing with Seasons much lately, so that's just me. Uh, as far as our uh, PDA is concerned, if you're curious where a few things are, just while we're here, you've got the shop up here to the top right, multiple sell points all the way around. Your uh, third farm, or one, <laughs> another one of the farms, I think there's like seven farms total. Um, this is where your other silo is going to be on field 17. So if you want to buy that, you can. This is another really good looking farm as well. Multiple buildings here. You do have a house on there as well. Um, all these buildings, as far as I'm, as far as I know, are uh, completely custom. You've got a, a barn here, <laughs> a building here. You know, of course, big doors that open up on here. Same thing over here. Big place there. Uh, you have a barn cell point. I believe that's a barn cell point. Maybe not. Uh, and then you have a smaller silo right here, which is really, really cool. Yeah, this isn't a cell point. It's just a barn. You could use this like a, like a barn. <laughs> it's real cool. What else? What else are you going to want to know? Um, we do have some si or some uh, things around here. Pick farm is going to be right here. If you want to buy the pick farm, you're going to be buying field 10 along with it. Um, along with that, if you want sheep, you're going to be buying field 29 along with your sheep. And then cows, there's two cattle pastures. Both of them are side by side, and they will come with field 35, which is very small, and field 3 as well. Um, as far as I know, a lot of these fields have contracts on them, which is great. Dude, enjoy, man. <laughs> really get it here and enjoy. You can see already, starting, we got a $15,000 harvesting contract, a $25,000 harvesting contract. Yo, you are going to really really enjoy this map you're gonna have a whole lot of fun with it um i hope you guys really enjoy it this is the the quintessential stereotypical american farm map that you guys have been waiting on 
and I'm so happy that it's here for you guys to enjoy. One thing to do, if you guys are really enjoying a mod, whether it be Stone Valley or anything else like that, go and rate it. You should rate all of the mods that you download. Again, whether you like the mod or not, go give it a rate. Give it a one through five star rating. I think Stone Valley is one of the best maps to ever come out for Farming Simulator, unbiased. <laughs> so we're gonna give it a full five star rating today. Uh, and I'm gonna go through and re-rate a few of the other mods as well. I really like this one. I mean, I know it's a Giants mod, but boop, there you go. So make sure that you're going through and rating any mod that you download and that you play with. Moving into to new mods for PC and Mac players today. First, we have the Kamaz 65117. This is a brand new truck for us. We do have another Kamaz in game and it looks really good. This one is no exception. Check this thing out. Oh man. Now you may be asking yourself, DJ, why is this not on console? Well don't have the brand for commands so that is why let's jump in and check it out where are we going to go we're going to go to vehicles and we're going to go to trucks and we're going to find the previously mentioned command 65 160 and go boop, one to the right boom let's jump in check this one out so this has 210 horsepower uh 210 liters of fuel and has a 55 mile per hour max speed main color we've got a couple different things here blue yellow orange red white another red uh green and khaki you gotta tell you green is probably my favorite one on this and then design color we got mostly the same a little bit different here in the back as well you can add that this kind of looks like something you'd see in SnowRunner. I like this. This is cool. Wheel brands, we have uh, Kama and, yep, that brand right there as well. We also have Forward as well. In uh, Kama, we could change that from standard to standards, basically chrome or black tires right there, which I find interesting. Look at that, okay? And then we go in here and change. That's the same tire. Maybe it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Configuration of mirrors, we've got one and two. So if you like double, triple, single, whatever, there you go. And then steering wheel, design one and design two. So you can change up your steering wheel as well. As far as the face and configuration, we have the plastic design and the metal design. These are very similar things that you'll find here with this bad boy. Uh, this is the semi-truck version. Pretty much, I believe, all the same, if not the exact same features. So if you want to run both of these, you totally can how awesome is that now one thing that i'm not quite sure about is the back right here wrong one is this a tipper or is this a uh like a loading thing where you would load up stuff fill units one df air wheat let's fill that up with wheat <laughs> i don't know what i filled up but it was definitely not the right thing so yeah help window not a uh -huh, yep Definitely seems to be a bell trailer, doesn't it? Eh, it's definitely a bell trailer. So that lowers all the way down. That's kind of cool, right? Oh, yep. Bring that down as well. And I'm guessing if I hold the right bumper, yep, then that'll drop down. Do we have tension belts? We do. Okay, cool. That all makes sense. And I like it. Very neat. This is this is a good looking truck right here. Next new mod for PC and Mac players is gonna be the hydraulic ramp with repair shop. This is a custom hydraulic ramp and workshop. You can lift your vehicles with the hydraulic ramp and then edit them when you have entered the workshop trigger. Next to last new mod for PC and Mac players today is gonna to be the fertilizer tank. This is a tank used to store liquid fertilizer and herbicides and must be filled before use. So this is going to store this stuff. Capacity is gonna be 50,000 liters. Price is 26,300 and it works with the manure system mod by Wobster. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players today is gonna to be the Poly 185 TL. This is gonna cost you $60,000 as a max working speed of 18 kilometers per hour around 10 to 12 miles per hour, somewhere in there. Required power is gonna be 180 horsepower, working with 14.8 meters and has a capacity of 18,500 liters. Boom, this is pretty cool. Also supports the manure system as well. And your only update for PC and Mac players today is gonna to be added realism for vehicles, changelog 1.3.1 fixed console, only showing two lines. Fill speed for calculating the fill speed now uses total fill speed. <laughs> How many times can we say fill speed of all fill units and not each fill unit individually? Center of gravity lengthwise is now only changed for motorized vehicles. Center of gravity height adjustment is now lowered to 0.05 to 0.3 meters above the wheel axle. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, join the GoHam fan. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later.
Peace.